by Jason Price. Talk about Jason Timber! It was five years ago that TSB first started offering mortgages. At the end of the first year, their loans helped buy some 500 properties. The next year, business really built up. As it did the next, and the next, until the end of 1984, when TSB's total mortgage lending had grown to over one billion pounds. And that, in simple terms, is about as many houses as you'll find in the whole of Newcastle-upon-Tyne. TSB, the fastest moving bank in Britain. Stop for a moment, a golden moment with Golden Rocher, nutty and utterly delicious. Have a golden moment every day with Ferrero Rocher. With interest-free credit, the television of your dreams now only looks beyond your reach. Call this number now or see our advertisements in your TV program papers. Hundreds of new Fords available for immediate delivery at unbeatable prices. TC Harris and Derby need your car now. We're offering top trade-in allowances on any make or model, or huge discounts if no trade-in, plus 150 quality used cars in stock. Drive a bargain at TC Harrison. Key name for Ford in Derby. Whatever the time of day, you can rely on Oracle to keep you in the know, come rain or shine. So, whenever you want the full weather picture, page your Oracle. Saturday Sport, here on Central, the one to watch. Good evening and welcome to the penultimate round of the valuable MFI World Match Play Championship. Four of the best players in the world, two steps away from that big first prize of £15,000. Yes, tonight we look at the highlights of the two semi-finals. In the first, it's the odds-on favourite Eric Bristow versus the world number four Cliff Lazarenko. And then the surprise of the tournament, Peter Locke of Wales against the England international ranked five in the world, Bob Anderson. So let's start with the stablemates, Eric Bristow and Cliff Lazarenko, both coincidentally managed by Dick Alex, and both in devastating form this afternoon and well in charge in the quarterfinals yesterday. Bristow, the crafty Cockney and the world number one, defeated the 1983 world champion Keith Deller 2-1 in the first round, a modest highest finish for him in that one of 48. And then in 25 minutes this afternoon, he whitewashed Mike Gregory 3-0 and his best checkout 84. Cliff Lazarenko, fellow Londoner, got the better of a bitter struggle with a Scott Jockey Wilson, 2-1 yesterday, his best finish, 83. And he then decimated Australia's Terry O'Day, 3-0 in the quarterfinal this afternoon with a best checkout of 100. So to the match, and both semis, of course, over the best of seven sets, the best of five legs in each set. Well, Lazarenko struck first to win the opening set. Bristow came back to level it at one all and then win the third set to go 2-1 up. So it's for the fourth set that we join it, and commentary is by Dave Lanning. First leg, fourth set, and it's Cliff throwing first. Game on pass. Cliff Lazarenko here, having won the first set, has now 